Don't know what you tripped over. Your shoes don't have laces. Hey! Awfully considerate dog. Just takes one blank sheet of paper. Also, kid, get a school bag. So where is it, Jimmy? I swear a dog ran off with it. <laughs> What he really meant to say was that Snoop Dogg took his papers. She'll understand why he did it. Also, word of advice, at least hand in the rest of your homework as evidence that you actually did it. Not tell something of a lie that even the kids in the 1940s would make fun of you for. To the principal's office. But a dog really did run off with it. You're just never able to see our side of things, are you? Still better convincing hair than John Travolta's hair plugs. Bend. Over. Oh, what do you know? Even in the 80s, there was a man with questionable hair punishing people in America. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought this was 1985, not 1955. Well, the joke's on this guy. Most of the kids in the school are into S&M. So every day they say that their dog ate their homework. Your side of it. I wish somebody could see my side of it. And that's how Pierre Bouvier came up with the idea for Simple Plan. So that's why Bad Mariah Carey took a swab at Good Mariah Carey. Because no other mirror is like this. Woo! This is a Motley Crue song, not a Trinidad James song. Also, why the hell do I know who Trinidad James is? Personally, I'd rather not go anywhere with Vince Neil. Especially if it was in the 80s, and especially if he was driving. Yes, I would rather listen to the Red Hot Chili Peppers right now. I think Pro Forster's plan to take over the world after Mike and the Bot left is going a little too far. This set is so familiar, I expect an annoying voice Kathy Ireland to come along looking for her father. These guys use so much hairspray they probably created a huge hole in the ozone layer. That's probably the reason why the other side looks like a place where junkies would shoot up. Putting a fake photo in front of a camera, very good idea on their part. Why would you need a camera in a place that looks like this? What pervert? Oh yeah, it makes sense. A pervert with questionable hair talking to a puppet. Oh my god, these Trump bandit jokes are writing themselves. Wow, so this is where Joel got his idea from Mystery Science Theater 3000. Oh no, shouldn't this guy be tearing apart Wyatt Dowdenley's house with a bunch of bikers? Well, serves you right for putting cameras in the boys' washroom. Is this what happens when the school gets shot up and there are no survivors in the speaker box left below gang fight? The worst Weird Al Yankee Vic concert ever? Well, I'll give Molly Crew this. They have something that no other band has. A Kiss wearing Beetlejuice on bass. And it makes sense, they do love girls, girls, girls. Oh good, the band has torn a hole in the wall. This means that Run DMC is gonna come in, right? Go back to your mirror universe, you nerd. You stay there in your clean society while we stay here in our hellhole. I'm afraid that we owe you an apology. I would ask how this guy knew where this kid was, but there are probably cameras in this washroom in this universe as well. And they say that education is going down the drain. The dog wanted to grade this kid's paper, not eat it. One more time! So the moral of the story is, even if a reasonable authority figure finds proof of your implausible story, screw authority and continue being a butt munch. But seriously, you're gonna fail your assignment and have to repeat the test grade again. That paper was probably gonna raise your average from an F to a C minus. I guess being a rebel means that you don't have a brain to think with. Now maybe you'll see my side of things. You did tell your side of the story, remember? That's why everyone laughed in your face. Oh, people are not gonna like me for this. I'm not a big fan of this video, though I'm not a fan of Molly Crew anyway. It's a standard 80s music video. I'm sure it was fine when it first came out, but it just seems so boring to me. It's silly, over-the-top standard 80s cheese that doesn't cut down from the sleeves. I guess that's because the music is the same thing, but I don't really talk about the music on the show. I talk about music videos, something that nobody has cared about for years. Why'd I bring back this show?